Welcome back, guys, to Trails from Zero. We're last episode, entering the Sun Fort's third stratum filled with the byproducts of Gnosis running through its channels. We came across cells where the missing people were trapped. Freeing them, we told them to wait for us to finish our task, unable to protect them as we travel. With a massive drainage puzzle area waiting with a ton of chests to grab, we look to progress to the fourth stratum. So from here, we obtain Estelea. How can Estelle spit a staff so fast? Because it's a hurricane! I wasn't worried about, like, leveling up the other guys, but I guess all the stuff I've been getting was basically for the other guys. Bow staff that can smash boulders globes with a faint, faint light. That's Talia. Oh, I didn't get anything new there, but we can definitely put you the Harmonia boots on. You can have the Ares Greaves. So that's cool. I can buff them up a little bit more. We can actually come back round to here. Probably actually the way to advance. <laughs> Starting to wonder. Yes. I'd say this loop seems to be important to progressing. But that probably just means we need to go back into the previous room now. Things dead regardless what I do now. I love Chief Sergei now. I mean, I liked him before, but... Oh, that's our destination. More cells. It doesn't look like anyone's in here, though. Actually, is anyone there? Don Marconi? Wait, Ravash's leader? Uh, have I seen you before? Something about your faces is ticking me off. N no way! It's a special support section brats! What? Those brats who ruined this year's sports auction? Well, that wasn't exactly what we were trying to do. But regardless, I say you got what was coming to you. Shut your mouths, you damn kids. This is all your fault. If you hadn't pissed off the speaker, I would have never ended up here. Everything that's happened is on you, little punks. This guy sure is a pro at passing the buck. Are you trying to say you aren't in league with Yochim? Of, of course I'm not. How was I supposed to know how horrifying Gnosis could be? All we were told was that it would make us stronger. And then after the attack on AOA, everyone in Ravash started downing the stuff. Last night, every person who took the drug started acting differently. Uh, and then this happened. Scarier than that, some of them began to transform into disgusting creatures. Oh, idios, please forgive us for the sins we committed. So that's how it went down. It lines up with all of our deductions so far. Uh, now you know the real story. I'm a victim in all of this. Hurry up. Let us out and lead us somewhere safe. Shut your mouth. Huh? Yochim Gunta may be the mastermind behind all this, sure. But I won't let you claim you have no responsibility. It was all of you in Ravash who provided notice to the citizens of Crossbell, wasn't it? W well, you see... And we even know why. You were using them as lab rats to evaluate whether Gnosis was safe to take. You even tried to secure distribution channels to expand yourselves after all this was over. Am I wrong? Ugh. It's true, maybe we went a bit too far. I doubt any diet member would be willing to cover you for something this serious. Not even Speaker Hartman, especially given they will be under investigation for his ties to Yochim. There's no one left for you to hide behind. No one to shield you from the law now. Ah, Putting all that aside for now, where the hell's old man Garcia? I figured if he was anywhere, it'd be here with you guys. The boss fought Yoichim until the bitter end. But unfortunately, he was overpowered by a horde of monsters. Monsters that were once our brothers. We haven't seen him since. Uh, is that so? That is worrisome. Yeah, it is. Hey, Lloyd, what are you planning to do with him? Uh, I figure it'd be dangerous to leave them all alone in a place like this. But if we free them, they might just take the opportunity to run away, you know? That's true. It's not an easy call. We'll trust your judgment, Lloyd. Because honestly, I'm not sure if the guild's sworn duty to protect civilians applies to Ravash. We'll track him down later, I'm guessing Lloyd's decision is. No matter what, we can find you. Equally, no matter what, if you try to leave this room, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> oh, we owe you one, kid. 
Lloyd. Man, you're a real softy. Huh? Would you expect anything else? Isn't it safer here? Legitimately. <laughs> this is only because it's an emergency. Besides, it won't be e so easy for you to escape these ruins without any weapons, given all the monsters wandering around. I'd advise all of you to stay put and wait until the police arrive to rescue you. Ah, uh, don't go barking orders on me, brat. Your job here is done. Scram. We should go. Yeah, let's press on. Not going to work well for you, you know. Well, there's a couple of chests here. Yet more of the big bum boys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Right, he's like, oh, these guys are pretty thick. <laughs> right, I may as well use Warcry on this turn. I'll leave the critical as the uh, one we attack. Because that will take out the big boy. Yeah, 10k damage is nice. I think that's the highest number we've hit. I'm not sure. They're all thereabouts. Was <laughs> hoping for the uh, the one shot there, but with Estelle coming out next, my CP is going to be dealt with. Got most of it back again. So interestingly. Uh, you has impede on, as you can see. <laughs> what are we fighting? I'll do the job. How much further? Got me quite a bit more. Saint Aurora Dress. I have found you. Turn around. I did. Who's trying to find me? Aurora dress is for women only. Of course it is. Clothes of shining septium glows with a fantastic light. Better than what you've got. But not better than these. Not that we found any more divine cloth anywhere or anything like that. Garcia was opposed to using that drug from the very beginning. He said that once we went down that slope, there'd be no going back. He was right about everything. Boss, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Why is this happening? We should have destroyed Hayway without breaking a sweat with that drug. We should be raking in thousands of mirror, and yet, damn it, some things really are too good to be true. Well, our buddy's brainwashed. The, the boss must be okay, though, right? We just saw him go down in a swarm of monsters, right? I guess Ravash can't take on the world, after all. Once we get out of here, what would we do? Don Marconi, answer me. Do you recognize this? A police badge. Feel like I've seen this one before. But that's the badge of that insufferable detective. How did you get your hands on that? Funny, I was going to ask you the same thing. You killed the owner of this badge, didn't you? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Besides, you might meet the same fate as him if you get carried away. Better learn your place quick and make sure to keep us happy or else. Uh, fine, I'll talk, okay? The pet, that pest was named Guy, right? Well, sorry, because we weren't the ones who killed him. Yeah, yeah, we might have been planning on taking him out since he was such a pain in the ass to deal with, but still. Well, we could act some other guy did the job for us. That badge was just some piece of junk that my men took from the scene of the crime. Is that really the whole truth? He does not seem to be lying, at least. Though it is possible that he's simply an incredibly good liar. If everything he said was true, removing key evidence from the victim and hiding it like a treasure. You're quite a strange hobby there, don't you, Marconi? Ah, oh, shut it. Uh, anyway, we did kill him. Yeah, he was probably, no, absolutely killed by Yochim. After all, that detective was conducting an investigation into Yochim while annoying us too. My brother knew. So we had the mastermind pinned down long before we found out about it. Boy's brother really sounds like he was an amazing man. It doesn't matter. We'll learn the truth once we capture Yochim. We spent enough time here. Everyone, let's move out. Right. But please believe me, we weren't the ones who killed that irritating detective. It was Yochim. All of this mess is that bastard's fault. Sure. All of it, right? You definitely didn't distribute anything at all. Oh, this is the actual way to go. 
All right, we need to return to our previous room to explore for treasure chests. I've moved forward a bit too fast, haven't I? Lots more Sepith! This is what I get for opening myself up to others. Yep. It's just safer to be dead inside. Now, can I sneak past this dude? Totes. <laughs> I don't even know why I sped up, because it wasn't really going to help. I obtained an evade free from in here. The fish game to get me, though. Am I at the point where I'm not getting much experience from these guys yet? I do wonder. So a round of four attacks can take out one of our foes. So you don't need the CP. I reckon Tio's gonna get attacked. What do you reckon? But Tio dodged. Wouldn't surprise me if the next enemy we beat kills our experience, to be honest. Chess asks if you will take it with you. It wants to see the world, particularly Calvert. Sadly, Chess don't make good pets. Especially when they're so often filled with enemies. You never know how much is inside. But at the moment, we can pretty much guarantee it's the big boys. One of these chests must have Joshua's weapon, right? Because if it does, then we're probably at the end of this dungeon. We thought we might be when we got four, but with the extras too. It's got to be a weapon and an armor. Level 41 for the two ladies of the group. All right, we haven't... Uh... Oh, we've got to loop back around now. Because of the way we came in here after all. Alright, there's another big boy chest. Did you get the CP or not? I don't know. Well, let's do what we've been doing to take them out as fast as possible. Our formula is set. What how much sepith this would generate on a sepith strike, considering the amount of hits they put in. be a small amount, I imagine. Josh was coming in with the AT delay shortly. Not enough. I reckon Joshua's probably got that guy, so I'll take you. Joshua, two for you. Joshua, stealing the thunder. I reckon we're still going to level up from fighting things in here. We're level 41. We obtain water and ice. Give it back, 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 give it back. <laughs> oh. Water and ice instead of the twin fences. Fair blaze forged in the east, light as feathers. I ain't giving it. Did that fish end up ahead? I was going to fight it on the way back out. Oh well. So there's one chest left. Fish is too slow. Still blue. I did my job as a chest, now you do yours. What is that? Explain to me. What is my function? Okay, we know which way to go now. So we need to pull our way all the way out of this room. 
skipping enemies now. I just feel like we're probably a good enough level. But to be honest, we do need more points. More points are appreciated. And technically, Randy could just do it by war cry, though. <laughs> Cheap character, Randy. Should we be concerned over the chess? I mean, what am I really going to do about them? I guess that's the be-all and end-all when it comes to it, isn't it? Like, I take them to the Yoichim Yo Kunta and go, Ah, you're the manager of this establishment. Can you sort out these menacing messages, please? I don't think that's what we're going to be able to do. <laughs> Fight them or burn them? Uh, I mean, police committing arson after their fevery would be a bit too much. Quite possibly. Maybe. Just a little bit. Of course we found the uh, right way instead of going the wrong way first. It's just how we roll, isn't it? So is this the way out of the first stratum? Is there a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh? Have I yet again... ...completely misjudged how long this game is? Hello guys, we came back! Nice to meet you all. I've opened this pathway to more monsters. I hope you don't mind. Like this guy here. It's a very friendly jelly. Thank you. I fight you because I just think there's a gigantic chamber ahead of me. That said... Doesn't really look going to get me too much CP. I think it's like 3 2, two. CP maximum you get from a team rush. Not much at all. Right, it doesn't have eyes, so it's no wonder it didn't see me until I got really close. Our foes don't stand a chance. But yeah, I think this is the point in time where skipping the enemies is not a bad idea. And get Ellie maxed out. Do you as well. And deliver the final blow. And he's nearly at 4k HP. Joshua and Estelle level up. Yeah, it's pretty much just fighting to get CP. What's through here? Yes, <laughs> you finally made it. That voice! Ernest! I was waiting for you. I've definitely seen this creep before. That would be an that would be assassin whose attempt on the mayor's life was stopped by the SSS. Well, well, I see you brought some braces. Come to think of it, you were working with Yin earlier too. You're quite popular, aren't you? Enough. We'd have time for your banter. Unlike the mafia and the Guardian Force, you aren't being controlled. And since you're acting of your own free will, the sentence for your crimes will be even harsher. Eh, these crimes you claim are committed are based off the prophetic rules of mankind. But from today onward, Crossbell should become a glorious new holy ground. So why should I concern myself with the meaningless laws of bygone civilizations? Ernest, please. He won't listen to a thing we say. It leaves us no choice then. How you first met Gunther? Your motive behind all of this madness? We'll find the answers to those mysteries in the interrogation room after all this is said and done. But for now, stand aside and let us pass. Ah, uh, you wish to pass? Very well. 
My holy comrade has bestowed upon me the power to reach wisdom. Feast your eyes on the power of Gnosis. This again. Stay on your toes. Hello, Demon Ernest. Demonization. Those Mafia goons were nothing compared to this. Oh, plus dragons. <laughs> oh, what an extraordinary feeling. The power of a demon, I have finally transcended humanity. This is the path of wisdom. Gnosis. Ernest, how can you let this happen to yourself? How much lower must you sink until you're finally satisfied? This is too sad to watch. Regardless of what form you may take, Ernest Reese, you are under arrest for obstruction of justice. <laughs> Lloyd, we need to talk to you about the whole arresting big demon guys thing. It's unlikely to go as easy as you think it will go. I'm going to accidentally kill these guys now, aren't I? No scans here, I'm afraid. They lived! Even the main guy did. I'm actually quite surprised. Gale of Evil? Okay, so you just have a MP plus annoy. Thank you. Very kind of you. Well, if that's how you want to play it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Because it's only going to attack one of them or both of them. Should have left that. The critical was there, though. I was too tempted. I got baited. This is I mean, 4K ain't bad. Yes. Yeah, I really kind of need to scan some dudes here. Sorry. So then I can kill them. Ancient dragon, dark dragon that excels a devilish breath revived by the DG cult. We're doing missing Tio. <laughs> I kind of need to kill what's in front of me. More than really anything else. So I don't know what your resistances are at the moment. What's it? Earth and space in general. You're probably res really resistant to that. I just go with a Thunder Cyclone. I probably be good enough. I mean, we've got a critical on the board here. We're not going to be able to get spell off fast. That's disaster's miles away. Aquamirage is still quite fast, however. So let's use that. As for that, I guess it's time to scan you, sir, so we know what's going on. Stell's coming in with a move in the future, I think. Ernest Demonic Form uses the Black Demon Sword to rend the flesh of those who defy him. Will be weakest to Tio's power as a well. whole. I find the Cyclone is doing you less damage on some of them. But it'll still do a fair bit. As you can see. Have to take down a dragon. That was coming in on a critical. Fortunately, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I 
Okay, we need to impede. Let's dragon two. <laughs> like you think you can actually attack me. Says <laughs> Ellie, we just start shooting Ernest too. Oh, hello. What? We didn't cancel it. I mean, that's fine because we are completely safe. But that's not. Oh no, we didn't cancel it. We're fine. But. <laughs> oh no! Burning finger! Oh, I can actually knock you out? Oh, I didn't know that. How do I reset you? It's fine. We got this. I got this. I take it from here. This will totally work. It's totally gonna work. Ready? There we go. <laughs> Yes. Told you it was gonna work. Hit him so hard, it's unreal. Get him, Tio! It's like you're not even paying attention to the buffs, man. What are you doing? What are you doing with yourself in your time? Farewell. Yes, you are an idiot. There goes Ernest. With some very strong arts. And he's out! Man, man that drug is no joke. He was crazy strong. Nothing at all like a certain other ex-secretary I could name. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the very least, Ernest seems to have actual martial arts training. It's Gnosis. Just how far can it push people beyond human limits? Is he still breathing? Yes, somehow. But given how hard he pushed himself, he'll likely be out of commission for a while. I see. And now our best course of action is to leave him here and move on. Yeah, we gotta keep moving. Right. Ellie, let's go. I know. Farewell, Ernest. Saying it like he's gonna die. I mean, if we leave him there, to be honest, he might just do. Some chests in this room to pick up still. Well, I can rest, get a little bit of my EP back. I'll get it back from walking, but... <laughs> I think comparing him to that clown liberal is insulting. For whom? <laughs> for, for which party? As we get a solar pendulum. As you gaze at the empty chest, you convince yourself that your friends are the only treasure you'll ever need. What's a solar pendulum? I must already have one, yeah? Oh, it's just the ones that do stuff but don't have actual extra stats on it. Otherwise known as sad times. Well, Ernest, it didn't seem that he, your area was patrolled by any monsters, so uh, apart from the fact that there's that there, I'm assuming... I will very shortly be on the fourth stratum. Whatever stratum is next. <laughs> Dane Megaduta. You're going to love the sequel. It's called Trails to One. Lies. Fourth stratum we are at. <laughs> okay then. 
We have some demonic puppet robot things. <laughs> don't have that much health to them, that's for certain. Ancient weapon made for slaughter. It can kill with a single swing of its sight. A dark legend. Weak to wind? I'll take that. It's also weak to shadow blade landing on its bonds. Vacuum. We have different definitions of what a vacuum is, I feel. I don't know. Okay, he didn't move. <laughs> I'm thinking of just bout scoping with Lloyd this turn. Oh, I should have done it with Randy. Because Tio's got the killing blow, most likely. Ancient weapon made for slaughter. It can kill with a single spell. I've already done you! <laughs> you. Weird puppet man. Ancient weapon for stealth mission. Silently assassinates its target. Rip Throat is its name. They never stood a chance. Okay. Well, we've only got one path to go. And now we're in like pits. Are we outside the place? Squints <laughs> the cottles. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Considering we went first, I might just uh I hit a battle scope on him. It's probably just a shadow blade and wind situation again. A car Kragar! Crag Rasp! A golem monster made from a collection of earth, its simplistic attacks rely on weight. My simplistic attacks roll on gigantic blaze descending from the sky. To kill some fools. I think it's a highly useful strategy. What, is there seven strands to symbolize seven circles of hell? I hope not. Because <laughs> if we're only on the fourth. I think we haven't got that much longer on the basis of, again, we've got most of the equipment. And we could even, I guess, check this. Because we were 9.9%, so we've actually got up like 17% of chests while I've been here. <laughs> Probably only halfway there, aren't we? Wait a second. There's a chest here? But it's... But it's like above or in or... What? <laughs> Nice looking guy over here. So that lever... Oh, that comes around to where that chest is. Probably? Tyrrell Bum. Hello, Dallas, my old friend. I've come to be looted once again. That was lucky. Why don't I just put them all into a position where they can really get got? Basically line them up. Seems kind of dumb. And you'll get the extra 10 CP. And Joshua will not finish the deal. We're still getting absolute tons of experience, though. 